Okay, I'm Helen. And uh, last summer I went on a trip to Italy, my third one actually, but this time it was with my stepson and his family and Angelo, the boyfriend. <laughs> and um, we had to do it in the month of August because of the kids and the fact that they couldn't take more than two, no, a week or so off from school. So we had over two weeks in Italy and we traveled. For, started in Naples and we uh, went to the Amalfi Coast and we went to uh, Tuscany and Rome and it is beautiful but hot. I do not recommend Italy, any part of Italy, except maybe the mountains in Tuscany in August or July for that matter. The thing that got to me was when we were in Venice and Venice is everything they said, you know, it, it's a gorgeously decaying city and we took a gondola ride uh, one morning. We wanted to get out before it got too hot, you know, and enjoy the gondola ride. And I have to say, it was just like flowing, you know, you're, you're rocking gently. And even when I got off the boat, I was like still feeling that. I was feeling so relaxed and everything else. So we're walking around and they tell you, Venice is a city to get lost in. It, there are lots of little alleyways, which is great if it isn't 95 degrees out. But it was. And so, um, you know, we wanted to go back to our Airbnb and we kept taking wrong turns. And <laughs> we, um, I, we had our phones with us, you know, the good old GPS, and we're walking around. Uh, and I'm yelling at Angelo. I mean, I was so <gasps> hot, I was pissed. Mm -hmm. I get too hot and I get very cranky. <laughs> and, and he took it, you know, he got it, you know. Um, but at one point, we're walking around with the GPS, we're trying to, uh, is this where we're supposed to be? And there was another couple coming along the same way, and they were doing the same thing, you mm -hmm. know? And we looked at each other, you know, it's like we just had to laugh. We didn't, no words had to be exchanged. They were just as lost as we were, and laughing about it. Because what else are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Except try to find someplace air conditioned, and in Venice there aren't too many buildings mm -hmm. like that anyway, or at least commercial ones. So anyway, uh, we got back eventually, you know. I think first though we stopped and got a glass of wine. I felt I needed one of those right on you know, overlooking the Grand Canal. That was lovely. And then we made our way back to where we were staying so I could cool off and feel normal again. So that was my little adventure in, <laughs> in Venice. <laughs> but it is a gorgeous city. I do recommend mm -hmm. seeing it before it completely falls into the sea. Yeah, you had <laughs> mentioned this was your third trip, so of the three, is there something that stood out more in this one or I think because different? we got to see a little bit more of Italy, like a, an extra long weekend, if you will, because the whole thing was so sudden, and I didn't even have a passport. That was an adventure. Oh, yeah. And this was before internet, any of that stuff where you could book flights or, mm -hmm. or anything. And we kept calling Alitalia Airlines, and the prices changed every time you called. Yep. I needed to have a passport picture taken, and at that time, remember the movie theaters, they had the camera things, you could go in the photo mm -hmm. booths, and so there was one in, in Meriden at the time, and I thought, well, maybe this will be good enough. It wasn't. It wasn't the right size. Yes, mm -hmm. very picky. Yeah. Right across in the passport office happens to be a photo studio. For a price, you get your picture taken. And then I had to take that, and then went into the line in Stanford, and um, for snaking around, I finally got my passport. Meantime, Angelo, our friend took Angelo to New York to the Italian embassy to get his passport. Then he came back to Stanford to get me. I was just getting out of the office with a passport in my hand, and I get accosted by a, um, a, a news reporter for WCBS radio. They had, because of the government shutdown, she was asking questions about, I don't know what the heck I said. I just babbled something about, you know, the sh shutdown and blah, blah, blah. I was gone. We were on our way to, you know, Kennedy Airport. And we did finally get a flight. It was on standby. And it was a pretty good, it, considering the time of year and all that, I think it was, uh, round trip was like 600 something, which wasn't bad. And I brought up my brand new credit card that I had just gotten and <laughs> broke it in getting, <laughs> going to Italy. Mm -hmm. So that was memorable in itself, just getting there. Mm -hmm. We did get to see Pompeii while we were there in that trip. I think, you know, each trip, you know, had its own set of um, points of interest, if, 